With the end of Chinese players in major sectors, namely roads, energy, and oil and gas in Uganda, China is continuously becoming a big force to reckon with Uganda's economy as well as the global scene. Chinese companies have embarked on major projects, namely the Kampala Entebbe Express Highway, the Karuma Dam, and oil drilling in the Albertine region. In a few years' time, the Chinese economy will be larger than the United States economy. Therefore, the rest of the world cannot afford to do without China. Uganda has at least 200 Chinese companies employing more than 300,000 Ugandans, yet China contributes 30% of foreign trade with Uganda. Named after a Greek thinker, the Chinese Confucius Institute, set up at Uganda's oldest university, therefore, seeks to tap into this to offer degrees, diploma, and short courses in Chinese language to Ugandans. This is the 443rd Confucius Institute to be set up in the world, with Uganda becoming the 126th country to have the institute that has been in place for 10 years now. I believe through the joint efforts of both universities, the Confucius, the Confucius Institute at Makerere University will achieve great success in the future and become a milestone in the culture and educational exchanges between our two countries. Makere University Dons are optimistic that the Institute will turn Makere into a dynamic intellectual powerhouse, urging China to further develop courses in small-scale industrial technology where majority of Ugandans operate. Although there are major corporations in the world, it is the small-scale industries that actually build even the largest and the most advanced economies. Understanding China and the Chinese language is therefore a sure way of tapping into the vast potential of the country, especially at this point in time when it has become the Africa's leading trade partner. Presiding over the launch of this institute at Makere University, State Minister in the office of the Vice President, Vincent Yans, urged the Ugandan business community to utilize the resource to tap the Chinese improved technologies. I'm Stephen Chonka, WBS TV in Makere.